hello youtube family welcome back to my channel so here we are once again to do another first impression and this time of another eyeshadow palette and today we're going to be looking at the morphe 35f palette i first saw this on nikki tutorial and the colors man they spoke to me i i couldn't say no to this one i've heard a lot of different things about morphe as a company good bad and different shady questionable great just all kinds of different things and i'm very curious to see <laughs> what the color payoff is like on these um as far as customer service shipping and handling i didn't have to make a complaint so i really didn't deal with anybody directly from the company um handling took a while as did shipping but that's okay i mean that's fairly normal it got here it got here in one piece and it looks amazing so these are the colors in the palette as you know you get 35 different eyeshadows and the first four one two three four are shimmer and the last row this fifth row here is all matte and you have some wonderful transition shades and of course that lovely lovely black so what I'm going to do is I will swatch each of these on my arm as per usual. But this time around, I'm going to be using the brush. And I'll do each roll on the arm and we'll take a look together and that's how we'll do it. Alright All right, guys, so this is the first row brush swatch. I must say that um, the first about well, five colors all look exactly the same to me. And they were, I had to at least go over them twice to get this much pigment I probably <laughs> let's be real I shall not be using these five colors because the only thing I could probably use these for are a highlight the last two these two on the end here which are these two at the top are they have some differentiation between them and I do like the way these colors look so I'll probably start my adventures in with this palette from these two all in all, not bad. Like I said, these first five were, I had to go over them twice, but the, the last two I did once each. So let's take a look at the second row of pigment. All right, so I have swatched this second row right here on my arm. And as you can see, I am falling more and more in love with these colors. Each swatch, I went over it once with the brush. A couple of them I did have to go over twice for example these first two here right here I did have to go over them twice but the others basically one swipe more or less gave me the color as you can see kind of I don't know the lighter shades are not my friend but definitely the darker plummy shades I am in love with I do love the golds they are very very pretty and they show up quite nicely on my skin hope you can see that so that's the second row and um, now we're gonna move on to the third so we are looking at this third row as I said this one and this is it swatched on my arm I am loving these shades I will say that some of the colors you do definitely have to go in a couple times and build them up you definitely have to build a couple of these up they're not the most pigmented or buttery soft shadows I've ever encountered but they do look fantastic once they're built up of course okay so we are looking at so we're looking at this fourth row and this fourth row was definitely worth the price of admission I love the color payoff of all of the shadows in that row as you can see absolutely gorgeous these definitely went on one stripe and they looked amazing especially these first two completely blew me away when I applied them to my arm okay so we are going to take a look at this very last row as you can see folks fall out sit high as I was swatching I would just go over I pass my brush over each one and it just it's just littered with fallout so be mindful that there is a lot of fallout with these 
This last row, as I said, swatched on my arm. I will try to salvage those. You do have to build these up. They do come off a bit chalky, and that black, unfortunately, is not as deep as I would have liked. But all in all, not a color that I can't work with, so I definitely will be. So that is, those are the swatches of the last row. All right, guys, so final thoughts on the Morphe 35F palette. All in all, I would say it's a good palette. Um, not too bad. Some of the shadows do apply a bit patchy and a little bit streaky. For example, these first four, I cannot tell the difference between the first four, quite frankly. And I did have to go it over it a couple times just to get a bit of color payoff. So I guess definitely stick highlight that's all i can say about those there is a bit of fallout from these shadows so please be careful remember to tap your brush off when you apply them because it can get everywhere as you can see this part of my palette just got insanely insanely dirty just be mindful of that as well this very last row here you're definitely going to have to build up some of these matte shadows and this black is not as deep as i thought it would have been still it is not the worst black pigment i have encountered in life that distinction goes to another eyeshadow palette this fourth row is definitely my favorite i love the color payoff one swipe absolutely gorgeous love it love it love it i do not regret at the end of the day purchasing this because I do love the colors I think they're absolutely beautiful and it's definitely a frosty palette with all of these shimmers they will look amazing just keep in mind you're gonna have to build up quite a few of these shadows on the eye all in all not regretting the 35f and I might actually go and purchase the 350 just to see it at work for myself so guys thank you so very much for watching my video to those of you who subscribe thank you thank you thank you so very much i hope you enjoyed don't forget to rate and comment in the boxes below and as always guys i look forward to seeing you in my next video